Hello my dear students this is another practical activity for class 12 that is about to study the prepared pedigree chart of genetic traits such as rolling of tongue blood groups widow speak and color blindness before going to how to prepare a pedigree chart let me tell you about the theory of the pedigree analysis or some of the important informations regarding the pedigree analysis that you have already studied in the theory part though i am just recapitulating those parts so the principle of inheritance of traits which was given by mendel you have already read in the theory which were applicable to plants animals and as well as human beings but the type of crossing over that was done on plants and animals cannot be performed on humans so a record of inheritance of certain genetic traits for two or more generations in the form of diagram or a family tree that is done is called the pedigree chart now this pedigree chart is prepared to know about the various type of diseases or different type of traits or to analyze on the human now this mendelian concept of dominance of gene and segregation of characteristics in subsequent generations can be studied by the method there are few internationally approved symbols which are used to analyze the study which i am just describing here this square structure is for the male the circular for the female the rhombus type structure is for the sex unspecified and you can see in this cases when this structure become colored or shaded that becomes affected individual you can see a line between the square the male and the circle that is the female that shows mating and when the lines are drawn below from there that becomes the parent generation on the top and the subsequent children in the next generation below and in case the shaded one will show the affected or the diseased parent or the diseased child so i hope you can understand this also see there are few other symbols also here which shows the unaffected how many unaffected of springs and here you can see the carrier symbol for the carrier symbol for the diseased okay twins in case of twins or identical twins or fraternal twins that also you can see the symbols now what do you require for this activity to perform the requirements are questionary method that is you have to ask questions about a particular disorder or a particular trait in a family which are running in the family with a genetic disorder for more than one generations you need some pencil and paper to note down this particular disorders or the data that you are collecting from that family now, what is the procedure the procedure is you have to select a family where you are going and asking the questions with a monogenetic trait such as for example rolling of tongue widow speak color blindness blood group okay hitch hick a thumb or there are so many or like the dimples on the cheek okay ear lobes so these any of these uh, trait you can select and, and you can then ask the question that in which generation these traits were uh, present or prevalent and the running generation you can just note notice and note down the traits in your notebook you can ask in the family whether these people those who are having this trait whether they had in their grandparents and parents their children or grandchildren so if these people are present around you you can easily see the trait if not then you can ask in the questionnaire method and note down the traits in your notebook now among the surviving individuals the trait may also be examined so you can examine the trait from the surviving individual the information that you got from this family made available to you is the basis for the preparation of the pedigree chart using the appropriate symbols now carefully examine the chart would suggest whether the gene for the character is autosome linked autosome linked you know there are two type of traits autosome linked dominant or autosome linked recessive it may be x chromosome or sex chromosome linked dominant or sex chromosome linked recessive so this four type of traits you have to easily identify or understand now for autosome linked dominant trait the encoding gene of the trait is present on any one of the autosome so it is not in the sex chromosome it is in any of one of the autosome 
the mutant allele is dominant and the wild type allele is recessive for such traits so in this particular chart the female being interviewed is exhibiting that trait and is indicated by an arrow mark in the chart transmission of trait occur from any of the parent the male and female are equally affected and the trait is marked to be present in each of the generation that is pedigree chart is vertical and multiple generations are characteristically affected the common examples of this type of trait are widow's peak and dimple in the cheek how will you understand what is a widow's peak see here this figure here it is a y or v you can say rather v shaped hair line across the forehead it is a dominant trait thus both the homozygous dominant that is the capital a capital a and the heterozygous alleles that are the capital a small a individuals have widow's peak while homozygous recessive that is the small a small a individuals have a straight hair line they do not form a widow's peak chart this is the outline chart which shows you about the pedigree analysis of the widow's peak next i am showing you another chart of the tongue rolling capacity or rolling of tongue analysis in case of autosomal dominant you know this trait will run in every generation isn't it now for the autosomal recessive this trait will skip one generation that it if it is present in the first generation the second generation will not have this trait again the third generation will have this trait so it will skip over generation so that is the method of recognizing which is a autosomal domain uh, sorry recessive trait so autosomal recessive trait the mutant allele is recessive to its wild type alleles now these traits occur in equal proportions in male and female siblings whose parents are carriers of the allele that is they have only a single copy of the allele and therefore they are normal and the siblings are homozygous for the defective allele but their parents though some may appear normal are obviously heterozygous that is they are merely carriers of the trait now the marriage between the man and woman genetically related with each other occasionally results in the appearance of such traits for example albinism or rolling of tongue what is rolling of tongue rolling of tongue in some persons they are able to roll their tongue in the u shape this inability of the roll of the tongue is caused by an autosomal recessive allele small a thus both homozygous dominant capital a capital a and the heterozygous capital a small a individuals are able to roll the tongue while the homozygous recessive that is the small a small a individuals are unable to roll the tongue in this way so the rolling of tongue capability is dominant while if a person is incapable then it is a recessive trait finally i cannot roll a tongue so i am a homozygous recessive that is i have a autosomal recessive trait for tongue rolling while for the widow's peak i am dominant because i have a widow's peak so there are few traits that you can recognize in yourself also see this chart what does it indicate this indicates that these females may either be homozygous dominant or heterozygous for the gene controlling the ability of an individual to roll the tongue in both these cases now these three siblings would be able to roll their tongue come the x link dominant trait now these are traits whose encoding genes are present in the x chromosome and thus the mutant allele of which is dominant over its wild type allele such traits are very rare in a given population sample in this case the trait appears in almost all the generations and the inheritance is vertical if the female is affected then about half of her sons are affected which is very crucial point to remember if the male is, is the affected person that is if the father is affected then half of his daughters would be affected but none of his son would be affected so remember what example for this type of x-linked uh, disorder or uh, trait you can say muscular dystrophy 
Now, what is Duchenne muscular dystrophy? Pedigree analysis of this muscular dystrophy is given here. You can see this results in the absence of teeth and bifid tongue associated with mental disorder. The possible genotype of affected person are shown in the pedigree chart. In case of X-linked recessive trait, these are the trait whose encoding gene is present in the X chromosome and its mutant allele is recessive to its wild type allele. The females expresses the trait only when they are homozygous for the mutant allele, whereas the male does not even when they are homozygous for it. Now about half of the sons of the carrier that is heterozygous for the trait females are affected. In this case of homozygous females showing the trait 50% of her daughters and all of her sons are likely to be affected. Therefore it can be concluded that males are more affected population in this type of category. Affected persons are related to one another through the paternal side of the family. Any evidence of the male to male transmission of the trait rules out the excellent inheritance. Examples are hemophilia and red green color blindness. Now, what is color blindness? You have already studied color blindness. It is a sex linked recessive disorder in the human. In this case, the affected individual is unable to differentiate between the red and the green colors. It results in the absence of malfunctioning of one or more of the three types of cone cells responsible for color vision. Now, per pedigree analysis for this color blindness is given below. You can see One of the observations you are likely to be writing in your copy that is the interrogated families showed the characteristic symptoms of the genetic disorder inferred in the study undertaken for the pedigree analysis. So, the result is the family studied showed the transmission of trait responsible for genetic diseases in the successive generation in each category. The very important precaution for this activity is the prior knowledge of the genetic disorder is must to identify the presence of particular disorder in the pedigree analysis. That means you have to study at least 3 to 4 generations of a family. So you should know the family history of this family for 3 to 4 generations. And you can then ask the question that in which generation these traits were uh, present or prevalent and the running generation you can just note notice and note down the traits in your notebook so my dear students it was all about the activity related to pedigree analysis i hope you understood how to perform this activity you have to just select one family or even you can select your own family and analyze the pedigree for various type of traits as i have already mentioned here there are four type of analysis that is the autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive sex linked dominant and sex linked recessive more about the other activities related to your practical uh, stay tuned with me and watch my videos if you have not yet subscribed my channel please do it now and thanks for watching the video